We're going to be using the unisling to install it, feed it over the bell housing of the transmission. to the area just shy of the pan. Feed the rear end over the tail housing or the pan depending upon the center of gravity of the transmission. To lock it in place, pull the small ring tight with the straps. Once you have the hoist attached to it, raise it up slightly and make sure it is as level as it possibly can be. As you can see, it takes very little effort to hold it in position. Before attempting to install the transmission on the dyno, Make sure your torque converter is fully seated. When you're using three mounting holes, three spools, it's best to align the torque converter as much as you can. To make it easy for it to adjust. Lower the transmission down, trying to keep it as even as possible with the mounting and the pilot hole. Install into the pilot hole and align your dowels. Once you have installed the transmission on the plate, and it is aligned into the dowel pins. If you apply pressure to the transmission and hand tighten the first stud, it will hold the transmission in place and in the dowel pins. You can then go through and install the other three studs. Once the studs are tightened by hand, ensure that the transmission is sitting flush against the plate. If it's not sitting flush, take it back off, realign it, and put it back on until it does sit flush. Then tighten your bolts. Once your bolts are tight, you should see the spools sticking out from the flex plate and there should be no warpage or bending of the flex plate. Then install your cap screws and number two spool washers. Slide the spool washer over the spool, insert the cap screw. Rotate. Install the second one. Rotate. Install the third one.
On four bolt torque converters, you will install all four. Two is insufficient to run them. Bolts should be tight, but not overly tightened. Over tightened bolts could warp the torque converter. Once the three bolts are tight, attach your pressure tab. The mainline pressure should attach to pressure transducer one or PT1 as it is marked on the hose. The cooler lines are marked in and out. Marked into the cooler, out from the cooler. Determine based on your transmission which is which. Attach the hoses directly to. Release the hoist. Install the output adapter into the load unit, making sure that it seats fully. Next, install the output adapter of the transmission all the way in, make sure that it fully seats. It's a good time to look at your seal and ensure your seal isn't cracked, broken. Then install the drip shield under the transmission and move your load unit forward. When you get within about three eighths of an inch from the output adapter, slide it out of the load unit and begin the process of aligning it. Sometimes you may have to pull out slightly on the transmission adapter, or you may not be fully aligned. We appear to be aligned left to right. If we weren't, we would go right to our mode, send it to cross slide, and monitor it left or right. If we're not aligned height-wise, we go to table, and it's table up and down. Once you have the adapter aligned, slide it in there. Run it until you can hear the motor tax a little bit. Reverse it slightly. And make sure you have a little bit of movement. The last and final step is to install your electronic shift cable. Make sure you install the ground strap on every cable that comes with it to a transmission point. And now you're ready to run it.